I'll show you the card that we're going to make. This is just a fun, fun fold card. And do you see how it overlaps like this? So tell me if you've made a card like this. So now you can see the general idea here. I'm gonna teach you how to make the pattern and then I can't wait to see what you're gonna do with it. You don't need to have anything special to do with this. This folds up like a box. It's tucked in. The reason that I mentioned just to take out some pattern paper is that pattern paper is lighter weight than cardstock. You could make the same thing out of cardstock, but then for sure you want to, um, you know, be scoring it and folding it and all that. And we're going for just things that are really easy and that any age can do, the youngest of age maybe with a little help. So, oh, it's so fun to see you guys. So that's great. Oh, Brenda's girls are watching. So uh, hello to any of the kids that are out here. We love to have this. So this is gonna be our quick fold. And I'm going to do it first because, you know, uh, as adults, we can get a little, you know, we need to have our scoreboard and all that. So I'll make a second one using the scoreboard. But I thought first to just show it, I'm going to do it without a scoreboard. So, you know, we know it can be done. So you don't have to have much equipment at all to do these. So we're going to take our eight and eight, our 80 square. The reason I've chosen this is this finished card will fit into a regular envelope. So it's perfect for mailing. Now you can make the same card out of other sizes. So again, you get to experiment. So we are going to start with just our paper and we're going to fold it in half. Uh, and I am going to use a bone folder, but if you don't have one, you know, just press it. Oh good, Barb, you've got Addison. Hi Addison. Addison made, showed that gorgeous photo of her. She is such a uh, stamper. We had her on. She was the girl in purple. Some of you will remember just when I say that. Yes, these could be sent to nursing homes or anywhere. You know, one of the things about crafting right now, it's just nice. We need both the break for us, but you also have something that you can give to somebody else. And when you're creating and thinking of other people, it's just such a, a great thing to be thinking about. So... I've done that, and then I'm going to just fold in to meet the fold. So I have to do this a little bit. Maybe going nuts that I'm not using a score thing, because you know, we really, <laughs> this was for the kids, they don't care. Adults, you tell them to tear paper and they're going, what? Kids will just go for it. So you can see I'm meeting both of these in the middle on the score line. You could do this kind of a thing, would be fun to do, I think, with wrapping paper, too. You could make a paper that goes with your paper, and then we're going to open it and do it again. Okay, Elaine remembers when Addison was on and that she did a great job. So how fun is that? It is, you know, Tim used to work at Starbucks, and they are closing all but their drive throughs tomorrow. So, you know, restaurants are closing. This is, it's rather bizarre to think we're actually living in this kind of a time. Um, but that said, we want to make use of this time to do thoughtful things for others and maybe learn some new things ourselves, uh, clean out the house, I don't know, whatever you're thinking. And now, basically, my last step here is to cut out the four corners. Have I lost anyone? And of course, you can go back and watch the video many times. This just will stay on here. The thing that's fun about doing this kind of a thing with kids is once you teach them, you're, they're going to do it just on lots of different things. And when you least expect it, you know, they uh, just add it to their repertoire of what things that they just do with folder. Oh, Barb says Addie's mailing me a card. Oh, that'll be so awesome. I love to do that. I know she does very special one of a kind card. So as I'm making this, you can see where the fun is really seeing. I'm going to make, uh, I'll have three different cards here, but then when we see what you guys do. So to make this very simple, you're going to notice this one, I put squares on. We're going to make these even simpler. So here is my card, and I'm going to just fold it up like a box. Whoops. So how cool is, how cool is that? This is it, it's eight and a half, and it's just keeping on folding in half. So we'll watch it again. 
Um, thanks, Gaylene, for sharing. Um, that is awesome. And now to decorate this, I thought, let's go even simpler than this one. So I'm using, I figured this would be a birthday paper. So I just took a punch. And what I have left of this paper, I used up this paper and I only had like three sheets left. So I thought, that's okay. I will use this. So a one and three quarter inch punch is perfect for this. I also could use a smaller punch and then, you know, ring this in another color. But I thought, okay, if we're going simple, because this is just to give you a bunch of ideas. And then from this paper that I've already used part of, we will take, I have to do some cutting here so I can get up to it. Okay, I have to find one I can get on here. This one's been used so much. Okay, here's a good one. I'm gonna put this guy on. And let's do one more. I'm gonna do this one. So I'm sure you're already thinking about what you can use, right? <laughs> so when you're posting yours, know that you can use uh, regular cards. You can use anything. It's just taking this idea. We like to see what people are going to do with it. And look at this. Now I'm just going to put those on. And how quick of a card. And I would have a cute little birthday card here. I was going to actually bring out glue because, oh, here, I do have some glue. We'll use glue today because that's probably more likely what people are going to use at home. But this is the glue that I keep saying I forget to get more of. So I may not be using glue. We'll see. I'll give that to Tim to work on. Oh, there it goes. The biggest trick with glue is to not use too much. It comes out the end. <laughs> and I should see, this doesn't go a certain way inside. If it wouldn't matter, it wouldn't matter. But since that is what we call directional. I think I... So this kind of gives you an idea of the kinds of things we're gonna do. All things that are quick and easy and that you can adapt to whatever materials you have at home and then that you can use for whatever. I am not used to using glue, as you can tell. I'll do another one. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna go back to this. <laughs> I'll, have to, uh, uh, I'll have to see if I can get another one of those. Okay, so this is my cute little card. And when we open it, all we're gonna put inside, this is a four inch square. And so this is where you're gonna write your message or do anything else. And this can be typing paper or anything. Even this whole thing. Um, I said you could just use typing paper, especially if you're just doing the pattern. You can um, make of it whatever you want. But isn't that just a really cute pattern? Okay, so these two, and then when you fold it up, you just fold it so that you see the photos or the little, the little snippets. So how cute is that? So here are two. I'll let Tim fold that one up. And now we'll do another one. Uh, Lady Buck would be adorable for this. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Marilyn said she loves glue because it gives you wiggle room. And that is true. And I, I See, I need to just get used to it more. And I know that if you work with kids, you probably do... Um, kids probably use glue more. So I, I really need to just get used to it. Okay, this is one for the adults who are just really insecure about folding. Because, you know, I know the kids got that in the first one. So for adults, we're going to do the same thing. Now my paper is eight inch squared, so I'm going to score in half. So that'll make four. But you can see how it's the same thing. And that's why, now if I were using cardstock, I would want to definitely do this because it doesn't fold as well. But again, I'm gonna turn this way, I'm gonna turn score four. So we're just going in half. And then each of those is in half, so that's gonna be two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go two, I'm gonna turn it around and do two, turn it again and do two, turn it again and do two. My original paper was eight inches by eight inches, and that is so, both that we can think of twos and fours, it's really easy, but you know, you could try six by six, 12 by 12, make a large card. 
I'm using this size because this is what would fit into just a regular envelope. So if you want to mail it. Um, but it would be fun to do a giant one. You know, like if you're doing an in-person party, it could be a card from all of us. You know, so there's a lot of different things that you could do with this. So the measurements are really, all you have to remember is just that you keep going in halves. And that's what makes this very easy to do. And we'll do this. And so now, you know, I'm going to post the pictures of these finished ones over in the back porch stampers. And you just want to request to join if you aren't already in there. That's where I'm going to ask people to post what you make out of this idea. And it's it'll be up there for a long time, but especially over this next time. So each day for the 10 days, Monday through Friday, of these two weeks, we're going to be making something like this and then encouraging people to chat over there. You know, it's really fun to post what you've made or what your kids have made and we'd love to see your face. If you wanna put a face on and what you made, it's really fun to get comments back and have people see what you're doing. So do you see how this is the very same thing? And again, now this one is direct, okay? I'm gonna just fit that inside. So I figured on this one, I wanted to just be a little bit different. So I decided to just put some flowers on. We're just going to use um, punches here. I'm going to put these on. And I think for this, you know, I love using these, when, especially when I'm online, just because they're so easy. So I'm going to just stick these on with glue dots. But you see, I'm just going to put one on each. And this is just because I'm trying to give some other ideas of what you could put on. Now... Kids don't typically need ideas, but adults do. I think that that is kind of the way it goes. <laughs> but I think this kind of a layout is great fun for all of us. So you could think about an event coming out next. And as we chat over in the other group, we do love just getting to know each other. You know, we're kind of all in this together, and it is... And I just think of all the people that are homeschooling. So even if you're using, you know, I know you're using your school curriculum and stuff, but this could just be a fun little break in the day to do something different. And you do learn something and it's all, um, and then you have something to give. I just think there's no way we can encourage that enough during this time. And it's just so good to be in action. Oh yeah, you might want to stick yours on better than I did. I think that that did not work. I will, no, I will redo that one. And then I could put little, this one does not want to stick. And see, I just do it like this. I just press it on. I'm not pressing hard enough. I am not pressing hard enough. There. Now for the centers of the flowers, I could put on little hole punches. I happen to have these. So I am going to put these on. And it's fine with me that they're thicker like this. So I'm going to just put these in the middle. But again, you can make this as fancy or as simple as you like. In a couple of days, I'm gonna start keeping track of how many states we get represented. Because wouldn't it be fun if we get somebody to watch from all 50 states? That'll be our goal. But how fun is this? And then, of course, on the inside again, now this one I will have a, a very vanilla because that's the background of this. No, it really doesn't matter. So this is, whoa, that one didn't, oh, that one I slid off without the back. I don't have my little pick tool handy. Okay. And do you see how they just tuck right in? So this is exactly why we're using the designer series paper because it's just easy to tuck in. It's just a little harder with the cardstock, but it works. So um, you just have it down. But, but this is today's idea. I hope you've